Okay. Good afternoon, dear viewers. My name is Tonoy Faisal and I'm conducting PT and IS training spoken English in PT academic consultancy firm. In here you know very well that this is recognized as the best training center for PT academic in Bangladesh and we have operated since uh, we have been operated since 2006 in Bangladesh and probably you know very well that uh, this is the first training center in where PT academic training was started during the year of 2016. In the courses of time of different kinds of difficulties so we have been surviving here. You know very well that thousands of students from here nowadays abroad in like in Australia, in Canada and Far East for their degrees for immigration and as well you know very well that PT academic training though it started in peace education during the year of 2016 but nowadays uh, different kinds of coaching centers or training centers are available in Bangladesh but why you choose peace education there must be some reasons yes of course at first uh, I want to mention that frankly it's a service center in where there is no commercial purpose of education. In education, in addition we have to, we, we, we serve always the best training and we have no commercial intention upon our students. Okay, I have been working here since uh, 2018 as a course coordinator at the same time as PT and IS trainer. From the close look and pros connection with the trainers and our uh, favorite Aziz sir, the CEO of uh, PEC Education, I uh, assured that uh, you get your desired uh, service in here. We have also overseas consultancy firm. We have overseas consultancy section. In here you can get service free any kinds of service free help and in addition we also give registration for PT academic without any kinds of fee from the students for our service free right okay now uh, we are supposed to be for here for today writing part writing module of uh, PT academic so you know that writing part is really a complicated task in PT academic training. I see in my personal life many students suffer from writing and you know that writing is not a task in where you can get your desired score uh, by applying some uh, fast tips or strategies or if you practice over a night and you get your desired score it's impossible you know. Writing is a little bit different from the other parts of PT academic. Okay, if you practice speaking every day and within a little period of uh, time you can be successful. But for writing, yes, there are different kinds of criteria in here. Number one is grammar. Most of the students of Bangladesh are very weak in grammar and they don't try to understand that grammar is the basic of English. At the same time, in PT academic, you know, there is mark in writing discourse, there is marks in linguistic aspect, development, and uh, other advanced strategies of writing. That's why many students I see suffer in this uh, module uh, quite well. And I see many students uh, who can pass the exam easily by applying regular practice, by applying regular methods and appropriate strategies. So for writing part, I want to mention for those students who are very uh, new to PT academic that for PT academic writing part, you have only two, mod two sections. Number one is summary writing and uh, number two is essay writing. Okay. For summary writing, you have only 10 minutes and you have to write only one sentence. There may be one or two summaries. On the other hand, for 
writing essay, you have only 20 minutes to complete and uh, 15 marks for each of the essay. There may be two essays and one summary or two summaries or one essay in writing part. So what is the basic problem of writing? What are the major queries or questions of the students I get in my classes? Number one, they suffer from the less time. Okay? They, they ask me that uh, they have only 10 minutes to complete the writing summary. So it's really a difficult task to read within uh, read 100 plus words or uh, 200 words within 10 minutes and write a uh, summary. And there is also word limitation, sentence limitation. You have to write within five to 75 words. Oh my God, in one sentence. Yes, this is the most suffering part. And another question that where they have to focus on. It's a long text and there are many ideas in there. So in where the student mainly focus on. That is the query, that is the first question. Another thing is they have to mention in one sentence. And obviously, it's very precise and shortcut. You have to write within five to 75 words. So it is also a concern for the student. And sometimes I get some queries that, OK, sir, how can I manage our time? We have 10 minutes, so is it better to skim the text within five minutes or more than five minutes after that I write the summary? or? I read it very quickly, then I sit down for the summary. And sometimes some uh, students ask me question about that if there is any chance to go off topic of the passage, you know. And yes, of course, there are smarter students, okay. They have problem that they have already attended for PT academic for different times. And they asked me a question that, okay, I have already 78, now what can I do to boost my score for 80? Or I, I sit for the exam and I have already, uh, already obtained about uh, 64 or 63. Now I have to get 65 marks. Now to boost your score, you have to take some advanced strategies. So I cannot mention that all students have to focus on similar thing because based on your grammar, based on your uh, talent, you have to focus on different strategies to improve. You know very well the basic grammar is same, but your problem is not same. At first, it, you have to identify that what is your main drawbacks, what is your main problems. Okay, for, to facilitate the students for this aspect, peace education give you help and full free. At first we assess our student and we don't apply any kinds of service fee for assessment. At first uh, we see the student's uh, position, okay, in where he feel problem, in where he feel complication, is there any problem in his writing, okay, is there any writing uh, structures problem or vocabulary problem or is there any problem of spelling so at first we find out the problem then we give the solution now to describe it uh, basically I, I cannot uh, I cannot mention the whole thing but uh, I think for live session I want to m mention some tips and strategies maybe it will be benefited for you. Number one, I want to mention seriously that try to skim the text. Try the, the whole text must be skimmed. If you cannot understand the text, you cannot write the sentence very clearly because you cannot understand. And if you go off topic, you cannot mention the significant aspects of the text there is possibility of getting zero marks in PD academic because you know very well it is 100% software based examination that's why if you don't focus on the words focus on the context of the real text there is no psychology of the computer he will not give you any marks so please don't be off topic cling to the topic, be coherent and try to skim the text. 
you do not understand everything of the text concentrate on keywords do not try to get everything do not swallow rather try to concentrate on the keyword like noun verb adjective of the sentences and avoid the grammatical words during reading because if you concentrate on the structures if you identify the words every idea of the paragraph then it's really difficult to get the idea of the text and you have very short period of time so concentrate concentrate on particular words where you get information especially I, I, I recommend for noun yes you know noun is the most important thing most important person space which provide you more information then focus where you are flexible with if you are not flexible with any sentence or with any paragra paragraph then don't mention don't quote from that sentence if you are not introduced with that then you cannot mention about it so try to focus in where you are flexible deal with those contents and do not summarize from a particular portion of that paragraph if you focus on a particular portion of a paragraph then your content the number of your content will be reduced please try to focus on every paragraph every sentence important aspects significant aspects of the text and please join dependent clause you know sometimes i get students i get proof in my experience who get zero for writing simple sentences joining if you write two complete sentence by using any kinds of linkers there is possibility of getting zero because you have to mention the sentence in one sentence you have to the mention summary in one sentence the summary must be in one sentence though you don't use full stop more than one st full stop but you join two complete sentences with a linker this is inappropriate idea of writing and you must you must know about the basic requirements basic distribution of the marking system you know the content for content the computer will mark you two then for grammar two vocabulary two and form one so if you deal with the content you get two marks if you deal with the grammar you, you get two marks then vocabulary two and form one so if you go to off topic if you give your own idea or add your own opinion or you mention direct quotes or personal experience then computer don't mark you enough computer cannot, cannot give you enough marks in content because it cannot identify your suggestion another thing is grammar grammatical correction is more important in PT academic than grammatical range in IELTS, you have to be improved more in grammatical accuracy and grammatical ranges. But for PT academic, grammatical accuracy is more important than grammatical range. If you are 100% correct with a simple sentence, there is possibility of getting 2 out of 2 in grammar. But if you make any kind of mistake, though you use very complicated structure, there is no possibility of getting 2 marks in grammar. And for vocabulary, of course, in here you should not mention very complicated words or advanced use of words no rather you can mention very ordinary words but the fact is that you have to maintain the correct form of word the correct choice of word what is called diction in English I cannot say unpractical I cannot say unpractical calamity I have to say devastating calamity so calamity cannot be unpractical we cannot say devastating education we have to say unpractical education this is the fact so use the cho correct form of word correct choice of word and for form if you write down five words you get one if you write down 70 words 75 words you get one so it's better to write 25 to 35 words for your advanced writing strategies if you write more there is possibility of getting of uh, making any kinds of mistakes but if you write less words then you can avoid mistakes in your grammar 
okay for essay you know essay is a long task and it's really impossible for me to discuss essay within a short period of time but for your advancement for your little bit learning of it i want to mention that okay for pt academic essay you have only 200 to 300 words to mention and only 20 minutes to complete the task the fact is that uh, you cannot get any extra time for this and you have to complete within 20 minutes so it's a really surviving part and you will be marked on different criteria like content grammar vocabulary form then obviously for diction then writing discourse then spelling so all advanced writing strategies will be included in writing part of pt academy so the major questions i have from my trainees that in which way they explain the essay is it be descriptive or is it be argumentative or persuasive or cause effect because you know in ias the every structure of essay is different but in pt academic there is a common structure common theme of essay and there is argumentative persuasive essay so you have to argue you have to give your rational speech and you have to persuade the computer that whatever i am speaking i whatever i am writing is right and appropriate that's it in which side you are that is not a fact at all the fact is you have to be correct okay now some sometimes i have questions that do you have to write in kinds of title or in kinds of heading or in kinds of paragraph title no there is no need of writing any kinds of heading or any kinds of title and okay sometimes some questions like uh, how many paragraphs we have to write okay so there is no limitation for writing paragraph but uh, from the university of sydney the departmental head of english department yeah uh, last time i have cooperated with him i have a training from pearson in that uh, i uh, she uh, suggests that okay you can use four paragraphs in the writing essay it's better she's a master trainer of pearson and another thing is advanced vocabulary and structure okay if you use advanced vocabulary and structure then is there any possibility of, of getting higher marks no there is no possibility of getting higher marks rather if you are correct if you are accurate then you get higher marks in pt academic and you should not be off topic or incoherent with the text and in where in which aspect we have to focus okay so you have to focus very precisely don't be discursive and don't be descriptive at all try to be in within 25 or 200 and 225 or 230 words and you should not write more don't be verbose writer because you know it's uh, almost mechanical you have marks in different kinds of criteria that's why you have to be careful about the marking system content grammar vocabulary spelling and form writing discourse so when you write keep in mind that you have to be careful in grammatical structure you have to use enough cohesive ties you have to give a good thesis statement you have to mention adequate topic sentences supporting details antithesis so the, these are the major terms so please be precise and in, in the writing and don't be off topic sometime i have students i have in my personal experience they do trick with the computer they use different kinds of templates okay if i write down templates within 200 300 words computer cannot catch me and i get 90 out of 90 no there is no possibility of getting 90 out of 90 by using templates those students who are bad who are tricky okay they use these kinds of things but computer is not foolish like that it can easily catch your foolishness okay you can use a little bit template for your introduction but i cannot say template advanced writers also use templates but this is your run-on sentences this is your fragmented views of grammar it's good but don't write down by memorizing anything don't be off topic 
in that case there is possibility of getting zero marks okay this is the end of the speaking for writing section now i am uh, i want to share you about ps education service okay ps education has very fair service and we have different kinds of courses i don't suggest you okay please come here and sit here for two months no maybe the course is for five days maybe the course is for seven days it depends on your basis it depends on your advances of english so at first please visit our center give the free assessment test then we will suggest the best option for you thank you for your cooperation today bye